Hey everyone, you may remember from my Catacombs 3rd Edition review that I am a huge fan of its particular brand of dexterity based dungeon crawling. So today I am super excited that we are reviewing Catacombs Cavern of Soloth, a content expansion that just explodes with all kinds of new stuff, adding more features to what was already there without adding a bunch of new complexity or new rules. So we're going to be taking a look to see if this is worth adding to your dexterity based dungeon delve adventures here on the Cardboard Herald's review of Catacombs Cavern of Soloth expansion. While it's true that this expansion pretty much provides more content for every facet of Catacombs, new characters, firewalls, a host of new monsters, four new catacombs lower, tons of awesome new equipment, a bunch of extra rooms, a new special room, the Altar of Soloth. It's probably the characters, the heroes themselves, that I found most interesting and the coolest part of this whole thing. Take, for instance, the sorceress here, who not only gets access to some spell cards, but she also has the ability to rip open portals, switching places with other heroes on the board, and shoot arrows at your opponents. That's freaking cool. Or you got things like the Paladin, he has extra resistances making him a powerhouse. Then you got like the Ice Princess shooting the awesome ice pieces here, you know, the, the ones that land on top of enemies, freezing them in place. That's one of the coolest features in the base game that doesn't get utilized nearly as often. She has the ability to do that several times throughout a game. That is cool. Now, of course, you got your centaur and your dwarf, which are fairly run-of-the-mill characters. They have unique abilities that make them stand out, but nothing as cool as these guys. And then finally, probably the coolest character in here is going to be the witch hunter. Look at all these awesome cards. Yeah, see, his ability is that the more enemies that he kills, he unlocks additional abilities of your choice. You trade in the tokens in order to get access to these awesome things. That is so awesome that you're adding new systems that make sense within the characters themselves, but feel like really dynamic, classic fantasy archetypes. I love the new characters in this. While Cavern of Solith plugs neatly into the catacombs, there are still plenty of new and interesting ideas in here. From the optional fire obstacles that can be sprinkled in, causing damage to careless combatants, to the siren whose deafening shrieks nullify hero abilities, to the phoenix who resurrects unless they are the last enemy taken out. Good thing they drop a phoenix down when defeated. Probably the most foreign thing is the inventive yet somewhat situational repeat shot, which allows you to reactivate teammates who have already acted this round. It's rad that the wealth of new content in this expansion feels fresh, yet it still fits seamlessly within the existing design. A couple other things that I want to call attention to about this expansion is that it just crushes it thematically. Not only is Quan Chai Moria's art still absolutely top notch, I mean, just look at this little guy. He is amazing looking, but it also really adds to the lore of the catacombs. I mean, catacomb lords like Sura Furule here, I'm not going to pretend I pronounced that right, but the uh, queen of the underworld, you want to know what's going on inside of her catacombs. And then the resonance in coming up with clear, understandable reasons why each character would have the abilities at their disposal, why they have the different dexterity shots, why the ice princess is able to shoot ice, why uh, the chimera is able to do what he does, why the rust monster makes all of your weapons disintegrate. Throughout this entire expansion, you are continuing to get the high level of thematic resonance that you've come to expect from playing the catacombs, and I love that. While nothing about Cavern fundamentally changes Catacombs, it allows you to have richer, more dynamic, and best yet, more diverse adventures that can scale to player skill better than ever before. Perhaps the only drawback to Solith is that with such awesome and interesting powers, characters, Catacomb Lords, and frickin' swords, the dopest items in the box, some of the stuff in the base Catacombs, especially the characters, feels a bit plain in comparison, except for Tabitha who remains objectively the best piece in all catacombs. All right, so do I like this expansion? 
Well, I love this expansion. It does give you so many more toys to play with, which is a big part of why I like the game in the first place. Being able to customize your adventures, really set up the stories, and just have awesome dynamic experiences is what I love most about bringing that game to the table over and over again. So if you are looking to add more to your catacombs, then I highly recommend Caverns of Saloth, an expansion that truly takes the catacombs to 11.